How dangerous is an MRI? Well, for starters, this is what happens when you bring ferrous metal in MRI scan rooms. This magnetic missile effect is known as a projectile event. But that's not actually the most dangerous part about getting an MRI scan. Well, You have a roughly 1 in 250 chance of getting into a car accident at any given time. And the overall risk of experiencing a reportable MRI safety incident is roughly 1 in 10,000 scans which means over 99.99% of MRI scans are completed without incident. But what about that 0.01% that nobody likes to talk about? Let's break that down. Surprisingly, projectile accidents, that dramatic metal flying into the MRI machine stuff, only makes up about 9% of reported MRI safety incidents. The number one danger in MRI, based on statistical evidence, is thermal events which account for up to 59% of all MRI accidents. In case you're wondering, a thermal event is the unintended heating of tissue or material caused by the absorption of radio frequency energy during an MRI scan. Now it should be noted that the secondary magnetic field produced by the gradient coil may contribute to heating, especially in instances where conductive coils are present in the field. Although this is much less common, this heating of material can result in skin burns, discomfort, or injury, especially when conductive materials in implants, monitoring leads, or ferrous metal objects are present. After thermal events, which again account for about 59% of all reported MRI safety events, we see a huge step down to our next category, which only accounts for about 11% of all MRI accidents. At number two, we have mechanical events, which include things like patients getting pinched on the table arm board, getting caught on the table as it slides in and out, Injuries due to improper positioning or patient support equipment shifting during the scan. At number three, we have projectile events, which account for about 9%. This is any time a ferrous metal item gets pulled into the magnet and causes damage to equipment or causes patient injury. There have been a total of five well-documented deaths in the past 30 years of MRI being employed around the world. This technically makes the odds of a fatal incident at about 1 in 50 million scans. However, each one of these cases is unique in their circumstances, with some being completely preventable. At number four, acoustic events account for approximately 5.9%, which includes cases where patients suffered short-term hearing loss to long-term damage as a result of the sounds or the acoustic pressures produced by the MRI scan. Image quality issues account for 2%, which is mostly images being affected by medical devices hardware issues, or environmental factors. And the last category, which I labeled as others, accounts for the rest of the reported MRI safety incidents, which is a little over 13.9%. The others category includes incidents of peripheral nerve stimulation, which can vary from 1.5% incident rate for a 1.5T MRI to as much as 15% for 3T MRI. It also includes potential interruptions to patient monitoring equipment or accessories incidents leading to equipment, building, or suite damage without causing injuries, reports filed by distributors, user facilities, and manufacturers, and also incidents pending further inquiry and other adverse side effects. Another key statistic that I found to be really interesting was the MRI incident rate distributed by technologist experience level. Roughly 42.3% of all reported MRI safety incidents involved a technologist with less than one year experience you can find a more detailed analysis of MRI accidents and statistics in the article titled Worst MRI Accidents, a Case Study. It's definitely worth a read. You can find a link to the full article in the description below. To learn more about MRI, click the video on the right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.